and this is my model Lori. She's got some amazing curly hair and we're gonna break it down how we cut curly hair. So to start with, before I even start cutting, I'm going to throw some highlights in it. Now again, I'm just going to work through that top section and I'm taking really thin slices because I really just want to break this up with some blonde to get some individual pieces. So you can see the amount of hair I'm working with today. She's got so much hair, which is amazing, but we really want to keep these pieces close together. Okay, one thing you really need to understand when cutting curly hair, the tension on the hair does not need to be that tight. So I loosen the tension a little bit. So let's go ahead and take this first section and you can see I'm still pulling it down pretty tight but I release it a little bit just before I cut it because I know that's gonna pop up. Now Laurie, she wears her hair curly all the time. So I really wanna get an idea of how much that's gonna pop up. So you can see here, as I'm taking that last section, I'm sort of pulling that curl out to see the bounce on it. It's very important and it's good to understand how much that curl does jump up. So as I drop the next section into the hair, I'm still going to keep pulling it down but releasing that tension just a little bit before I cut it. Because it's very important just to see the natural curl in the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some weight here. I'm sort of determining right under the occipital bone, I want to start stacking the hair a little bit. So I'm just going to drop that section down and you can see it's right under the occipital bone. So now I'm going to start pulling it out at a 45 degree angle and I'm start going to build up that weight. But again, I'm not pulling the hair too tight and just releasing that tension a little bit just as I'm cutting. So as I'm working up into the crown area, you can see I'm still building that weight, pulling it out, just connecting it all. I'm leaving it slightly longer behind the ear, as always, because I don't want to end up with any holes in the haircut. We still want a really clean shape, even though she's going to wear it curly. So working up into the crown area, again, I'm pulling it down now, connecting it just to the bottom part so we can connect the sides. So as I move onto the side section, you can see vertical sections over directing the back just to keep that little bit of length in the front. So one thing I want you to notice, after I've cut every section, you can see I'm just sort of pulling that curl out a little bit just to see how it's gonna fall. You know, it's very important every time cutting curly hair to really, as we're going through the haircut, to get an idea of the shape we're looking for. So after doing the other side, what I'm gonna go through now is I'm gonna go through and give it some texture. So you can see I'm twisting it here and I'm just closing the scissor a little bit. You can see here where I'm twisting it into a curl direction and I'm just closing the scissor to take out some of the weight. Now what this is going to do, it's gonna give it movement without giving it flyaways. So we're not using a razor, so we're not dragging that razor down the hair shaft. We're not gonna make it frizzy. We're just gonna give it a little bit of movement here. This really is one of my favorite techniques for curly hair because it takes out so much of that weight and separates the curl for me. So after going through the whole head, this is the end result. I absolutely love it. I've just thrown a little bit of product in it and I'm really going to let this dry naturally. I don't want to blast it with a hairdryer, I don't want to blow out that cuticle and make it all frizzy, so we're really just going to let this dry naturally, but the overall effect, I absolutely love this haircut. I love the curl in it, I love the technique of the texture, because as you can see, it just defines the curl a little bit, and the blonde just breaks it up. I think it turned out really cool.
hey if you like my videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next